In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 4th of February, 2023. It is Saturday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 15 to 17 and verses 20 to 21. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 23. The response to the psalm is, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 30 to 34. I read from the Gospel. At that time, the apostles returned to Jesus and told him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourself to a lonely place and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a lonely place by themselves. Now many saw them going and knew them, and they ran there on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. As he landed, he saw a great throng, and he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The theme for today's meditation is Carry out your task as a leader dutifully. Carry out your task as a leader dutifully. Dear friends in Christ, in today's gospel story, we are told that when Jesus saw the crowd, he had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Now imagine sheep without a shepherd. What comes to mind? They are scattered. They lack direction. They may even be infighting among them because there is no one to lead them, to put them in order. This is exactly why Jesus had compassion on the people. God's people need guidance. God's people need care. God's people need direction. Without this guidance, without this care and direction, they become scattered. There is disorder and they miss their destination and their goal. The call, therefore, is on all of us who are leaders in whatever domain. Be it in the family. Be it at school. Be it in the office. Wherever we find ourselves, beloved, as leaders, the gospel text of today touches on us. Does Jesus look at the people and have pity on them because they are in disorder, because they lack direction, because they have no guidance, no one to care and to guide and lead them? Is it because the leaders are absent or is it because the leaders have failed in their duty? The truth is, the leaders may have failed in their duty. Let us begin from homes. When you see the many children who are wayward and scattered, who are disordered, it may be true that they lack guidance at home. It may be true that their parents are absent and so there is no one to lead them, to guide them and to direct them. When Jesus sees such children, 
He has compassion on them because they are like sheep without a shepherd. Where is the shepherd to lead that sheep at home? If the shepherd is absent, if the shepherd does not carry out his duty, the sheep will be scattered, the sheep will be wayward. Some will move to the left, others to the right, because the shepherd has failed in their duty. Look at our churches. There are some of our Christians who are running away to the sects. Could it be because they have no one to guide them, no one to lead them, no one to show that pastoral care for them. And that is exactly why they are like sheep without a shepherd. They are running away because they are in search of greener pasture. They are in search of God. But if they come to us and we are not able to guide them in the faith, we are not able to give pastoral care for the sick, those in prison. If we are not able to give them direction, spiritual direction, to give them homilies that will make them reflect on their lives and find purpose and meaning in life. Beloved, they will be like sheep without a shepherd. They will be scattered. In a different institutions, in a different places of work, those who go by the title boss, what is the work they do? Do they gather the people and bring the staff under the establishment to give them purpose, to give them direction? Or are they like sheep without a shepherd? Truly, dear friends, if we are sincere with ourselves, we will discover that the shepherd have failed in their duty. The shepherd have gone to sleep and the sheep have been scattered. The shepherd have been off duty and they have let ravenous wolves come in the midst of the sheep to devour and scatter the sheep. Therefore, let shepherds Take again the duty of shepherding the sheep dutifully and assiduously. For this reason, the psalm of today, Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Jesus is that kind of shepherd who is never off duty, who leads the sheep to greener pasture, who leads the sheep to find water to revive their drooping spirit. As priests, as pastors, can we say that we are leading our parishioners to heaven? That we are leading them to greener pasture and they find rest for their souls? As parents, can you say that you are leading your children and giving them the direction and the care that they need? Let Jesus not look at his people and cry and be merciful and say, Oh, they are like sheep without a shepherd. Look at our countries. Those who call themselves our leaders, are they leading the people to greener pasture? You who are leaders, what is your role? And you take up that task of shepherding the sheep that has been entrusted to you. Oh, Jesus still looks at the people and laments as he did many years ago. He sees how scattered they are. He sees how dejected, how hungry they are. He sees how ravenous wolves Enemies are getting into the sheep to destroy and devour them. And he asks, where are the shepherds? They are like sheep without shepherds. Is it because they lack shepherds? Or is it because the shepherds have gone off duty? Well, dear friends, another way to look at it. If we can throw stones to those who are shepherds now for failing to care for the sheep, to direct the sheep and to give them guidance, can you take up that duty and responsibility? In his post-synodal apostolic exaltation, Pope St. John Paul II, Pastores Dabo Vobis, explains that I will give you shepherds after my own heart. Jesus says he will provide shepherds who will care for the sheep, not shepherds who will prey on the sheep. Can you be one of such whom Jesus can count on? Can you be one of such whom Jesus can entrust the care of the sheep. If not, beloved, let us begin cultivating those character and traits that will make us good shepherds, so that Jesus will not look at the sheep and say they are like sheep without shepherds, but that they have shepherds who care for the sheep. We need to be patient as shepherds, to lead the sheep, to go after the stray, because definitely among the sheep, some will go astray. Some will be stubborn, 
Some will be very obedient. But a shepherd like Jesus Christ is patient. A shepherd like Jesus Christ is gentle. A shepherd like Jesus Christ is interested even in that one sheep that goes astray. But oh, our leaders, they don't care if you go astray. They focus on the few who move along with them. No, let us be shepherds after the mind of Christ and his church. Shepherds who are gentle. Shepherds who are able to lead, to guide and to direct. Shepherds who care for the sheep so that together with the sheep, we may lead them to greener pasture where they will find the Lord and revive their drooping spirit. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a happy weekend. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Remember, if you fail in your duty as a shepherd, God will judge you for failure of duty. <laughs>